we got the new E-Flight F-14 Twin 40mm and it's a challenging little jet. Come chat with us about it on our Discord server. As always, you'll find the link in the description. Check it out guys, Horizon Hobby sent us the F-14 Twin 40mm. This is a cute little bugger. Let me look at it. Wing it's got swing. the uh, articulating wings and everything with fully moving uh, stabilators in the tail. Pretty cool little model, man. It uh, runs off of a Spectrum 4-cell 30C pack, which you can see popped in here in the snoot. Barely enough room, but it does fit. There we go. Let's get her on the ground and take her on up. Actually, let's throttle up real fast. This is the way this thing sounds. <laughs> All right, F-14 is ready to go. This is basically a UMX jet. Kind of like the A-10, except it's got more, uh, what do you want to call it, functionality to it. And it's an F-14, who doesn't love those, right? There we go. Glad we have some clouds today, man. We've been flying a lot recently and there just been have been no clouds whatsoever. And you can't see what the planes are doing. There's your full roll rate on it. Pretty respectable roll rate for stabs only. Um, the other F-14 that's currently on the market rolls pretty much at the same speed with stabs alone. So it appears to be an F-14 characteristic for sure. It's got plenty of power. Whee! Woohoo! If I could get the battery a little bit further back, I think I, I'd uh, be able to have a little bit more pitch aggressiveness to it, but I think where it's at now, it's flying good. This is marketed as in like a, you know, somebody with a advanced level flying. I think you could be an intermediate pilot and be okay with this plane. It's not that hard to fly. Where you're gonna have issues flying it isn't even in the wing sweep. It's actually not that much different to fly. The, the uh, UMX flight controller in it is pretty good. It handles pretty well, even with the wings swept and everything. But where the issue is gonna be is because there's no flaps, you have to actually get good at landing it. So let's give you guys a mini flight tutorial on how to land this thing. Uh, that's where your biggest issues are going to be if you're flying off pavement. So you're going to want to like make it as shallow a descent as you can, bleed off as much airspeed as you can get. It does like to drop a wing on a, if you pull it too hard, so just be careful with that. There you go, kind of throttle up as you get closer to the ground. And then, let it land. That was a little bit rough of a landing, of course. It's so hard to see, it's kind of like a, it's a challenge to land, but it's fun too, it's a fun challenge. So let's go ahead and try that again. Get it down a little bit lower. Like I'm having a hard time judging the airspeed of the model. I'm usually pretty good at that, but because it's so small, it's kind of hard to tell if it's getting, if it's kind of falling out of the sky or if it's just gliding down. So we're gonna just let it go throttle off. There we go, glide it in with a little bit of power. Hold the nose up on approach. A little rough on the landing too, but it's, it's designed to take this, you know, it's not a big deal. It's a good little plane to fly. The smaller they are, the harder they are to land. So just keep that in mind. It's gonna to be tough to get a perfect landing out of something like this. You can get a nice barrel roll out of it. Whee, what's the voltage? 14.5 volts. That's under load. We still got plenty of power to work with. Oh, there's a little uh, dust devil right in front of us. Let's see how the plane handles this wind. I'm gonna fly straight through it. You can see it getting, ki oh, look at it getting kicked around. You can probably see the stabs working on the camera. That flight controller is doing a lot of work to keep this plane stable. It's remarkably stable for how small it is. That's one of the best things about these UMX models. Wing swept, wing sweep. Let's go half sweep on this one. The best thing about these UMX models is that the flight controller really works hard to keep them stable and feeling minutes. like a bigger plane. It's actually really good at that. Let's do a wing half swept pass right in front of us. Look at it go. Sweep it all the way in. Wing swept. Pull them all the way out. So the flight controller actually compensates for the wing sweep too. When you pull the wings all the way back, the uh, the stabs automatically get limited. So they can't move as far as they would when the wings are fully out. So it's one of those things. It's kind of like, a, it's a beginner, not beginner. It's an intermediate friendly airplane for sure. Let's see if we can get a better landing this time. All the advice I gave you a second ago still works. Kind of chop throttle to let it fly in. And then as it gets closer to the ground, you start pulling the stick, level it out. There we go. Better landing that time. What's our battery level? 
So we're gonna want, we wanna land and swap out the pack here in a second. Could it be a little bit more powerful? Yeah, but it's still pretty fun for what it is. I wouldn't fly this on a heavier wind day, I'll tell you that. Um, it's gonna have a little tougher time to find it, but like, wear through the battery faster, in my opinion. Um, you know, you don't really have to take what I say as gospel or anything. I, I just, I like to pretend that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, get her leveled out. I think we'll go ahead and swap right after this landing. Let's see if we can get it to be good. Even a little volts. thrust on the approach. Drop the wing. That's what I mean about dropping the wing, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. I doubt it even damaged the plane. I know it dropped on the left wing here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Scraped a little bit of paint off of that left wing at the tip. No biggie. If I want to fix it, I'll toss some gray electrical tape on it. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have electrical tape. It's almost the exact same color as this. So let's go ahead and swap it, show you guys how the battery goes into this thing. Get it away from my aviation radio. We do fly at an active airport uh, insofar as you would call it active, I suppose. So we do keep an aviation radio next to us just to hear if anybody's calling out on the common traffic advisory frequency. We can communicate with the pilots too to let them know, you know, hey, runway's clear or whatnot. There's nowhere you can really put this except for the very back. You can go front too, but um, this plane does benefit from as far back as you can get it. Just kind of shove it all the way back there. That's as far as it can go. So all the flying you saw me doing earlier was on the same pack, four cell. Look, this goes in first. There we go. And it should initialize. Timer reset. Give it a second. If it doesn't initialize, you can always unplug it and plug it back in. That's one of the uh, UMX things. Uh, let's go ahead and hand launch it. We're gonna put it into safe for this. You can see the, the stabs working overtime here. Hopefully this works well. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. Ah! Save a little bit of power. Ain't too bad. Let me get out of the way of Tony here. Zoop underneath the camera. There we go. You know, I gotta admit, I like it. It's cute. This plane was uh, held back on release for quite a while, but it finally came out not too long ago, and I'm kind of glad that Horizon sent it to us to review because we'd wanted to do it. 15, I was actually gonna pull the trigger on buying it pretty soon, and then they were like, hey, you wanna review this? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So it's cool. Wings Sweet them wings. Super cool model. You know, I wonder if it'll high alpha with the wings all the way back. Let's take it up nice and high now that we got some cloud cover. And let's put it into, let's see how its uh, stall characteristics are and whatnot. I keep instinctively using the rudder, but there's no rudder on this plane to speak of. All right, pull the stick all the way back. And slow her down. Yeah, it's got a pretty gentle stall. It just kind of stopped flying and just started nosing down in a kind of gentle spiral. Not a big deal. Now let's try it with the wings swept all the way back. Get a little further over those trees. Full back on the elevator. Wing normal. Still flies. Stall characteristics when the, the wings are swept, you don't want to stall it. It's much harder to get out of because the stabs are limited. So don't do that. That's why I went really high because I had a feeling it would be hard to pull out of. Let's do a quick touch and go with it. Turn it back around. Tony's taking a couple steps back for me. Appreciate that, buddy. Throttle back. Line up with the runway. A little bit of thrust goes a long way with this model. That was probably the best landing yet, I'd say. Cute little thing. There are, there is a bigger F-14 out there, but this one, like, one of the biggest selling points for this one, I'd say, is the space that it takes. So you can sweep those wings back, put it in your trunk, and you can still bring, like, four other models with you. I have an Impala 2014 from Chevrolet. I can, I actually brought three models today. I could have brought the fourth one, but Draco is just too big. And uh, the F-14 would have sat in the front with me. Hell, it could have sat on my lap if I wanted it to. It's so tiny. So for those of you guys who wanted your own F-14, but you didn't want to spend a ton of money on it, this is a good cho uh, choice for that. It flies really well. I mean, you can do those all sorts of different maneuvers with it. It's got decent roll rate. It's fun to fly. It looks really cool from a distance. Look at it go. It's fast too, full throttle. Wing swept. Wing normal. 
<laughs> oh boy, that is fun. All right, let's bring her into land pretty soon. 14.9 volts. Yeah, getting uh, just about storage voltage here. Yeah, get her over those trees, let's line her up, and we'll give you guys my final thoughts on her. Line her up real nice, there we go. Nose down. It's a little tricky to land without rudder, so definitely don't fly it on a cross windy day. It's gonna be tougher to do. There we go. No grease and landings for me today with this jet. 15 volts. Kicked up a rock. There we go. I gotta bring a push broom out here and clean off this runway. Occasionally some heavy machinery comes up and down here and kicks rocks around all over the place. All right, let's pick up the jet. Get a look at her. Yoink. I love the wing sleep functionality. Super cool to be able to do that. At this scale too, I'm actually surprised they got the engineering done just right that it would actually work. Uh, with the other F-14 on the market, you can't even do a half position sweep. So that's one of the bigger selling points for this one that you can do that. The stabs fully move. Uh, you, you get full travel out of them when you hold the stick and, and kind of give it some roll input too. So you can see how much it actually can move. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to pull off flat spins with this one, unfortunately. The center of gravity isn't where it needs to be for that kind of thing. Uh, it is pretty responsive overall. I would say if you can get away with it, you might want to consider trying a... Uh, I'm gonna put it down so it stops buzzing. You might want to try considering a, a lighter weight pack, like an 1800 or 1600, if you can get those in four cells, like a drone battery. If you can find one that's long that'll fit in there, you might be able to get a center of gravity that balances closer to here rather than here. That'll help it be a little bit more aggressive on pitch, and that's kind of where this plane needs it the most. Otherwise, it flies really well. The flight controller does so much work to keep it steady. Like, it was getting bounced around by the wind, and you can see the stabs just fighting it the whole time. I love watching that. Like, aerodynamics in action is just so much, so cool to me, personally. Uh, review score for this thing, solid eight and a half out of 10. Where could it be better? Uh, I do wish they had had the ability to put the uh, full flaps into it. I think flaps would have done a, a major uh, service to the plane to get it to slow down a bit easier. It's kind of tricky to land. So it's gonna, that's probably one of the reasons why it's rated for experienced pilots, because you need to know how to bring it in and adjust it when, like adjust your, your angle of attack and all that stuff to land a jet without flaps. It's not really as straightforward as you might think it is. Uh, especially if you can't hold a high angle of attack. If you try to do this and you get too slow, the jet's gonna spiral in one direction, which is why this wingtip got scraped up. But it's not really that big of a deal. And a little bit of paint will fix it right up. Uh, where else could it be improved? I do wish I could get more stab throw. If I could get that much throw without having to roll it, that's where I'd be really happy with it. But otherwise, you know, for most people, they're not gonna notice it. They're gonna have fun. And I think that's what really matters. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again next time. This is our maiden takeoff. You can see a bit of hesitation after rotating. The jet wasn't trimmed correctly, so it took a moment to get it up. Overall, it handles well. Takeoff will require a bit of runway unless you throw it, which is probably the best way to save battery power. Alternatively, you can use half throttle to get it to rotating speed to save on power. This is not a jet designed for grass. You might get lucky and fly it off really short grass, but your best bet for grass flying is to hand throw it and then land it with or without the wheels. Landing a jet with highly loaded wings requires you to bring it in with a bit of throttle, but not too much, otherwise you'll overshoot the runway. It does take some getting used to, but this jet can be landed gracefully with practice and patience. Hold a shallow approach with the jet just above the runway, then slowly feed in back elevator pressure until the jet sinks on the mains. Too fast and it'll climb, too slow and it'll drop a wing. This is likely why it was given an experienced rating on the box. When you get it set up just right though, it comes in just like a full scale F-14. It looks beautiful in the sky and it has a presence to it that screams Tomcat. If you were wondering, yes, you can take off and land with the wings fully swept. One final note for flight characteristics, don't land this jet with a crosswind. Land into the wind if you can, or drop it into the grass if your runway is narrow like ours. Because there's no rudder, it's impossible to correct for the jet crabbing in a crosswind, and this causes it to be unpredictable on landing. This can be easily avoided with some forethought on your part, so learn from our mistake here. See you guys next time with a new upload.